Hey everyone, welcome back. This just um, wraps up the werewolves and ninja waves, and um, for these, obviously, the ninjas you want to try and if you keep track of your multiplier well enough. Uh, I, for instance, here I, I know that like I, I've really got to worry about getting any more green essence yet. So obviously, I'm going for points on these now. Um, this next wave is uh, contains a lot of points, the gargers and is ninjas, because if you can just use the windmill shuriken UT, you can get a hell of a lot of points from one UT. Like you know, you can kind of kill maybe three or four, maybe even five at a time. OT one of the headless ones, stagger your essence and just do that over and over again. You, you can probably get a good 500,000 out of this wave alone if it goes perfectly. So always try and use your um, windmill shuriken UTs. Uh, there I got a bit unlucky, I only killed one. But um, before you do it, always try and make sure you flying swallow through maybe two or three enemies to stun them. So like you can follow up with the windmill shuriken UT and then obviously kill them instantly. Now, um, just to touch on what I said about keeping track of green essence, um, here obviously notice that I haven't really got a lot of um, karma out of it, but you know, obviously it's been whittling away in my green essence timer, so when they pop up and you, know, you think you need them, it's always better to pick them up instead of using them for a UT, because if you pick them up you get another 30 seconds of time, where if you just sacrifice the green essence for a UT, you, know, you could easily go another minute without getting any, so, and at least then like everything gets more applied. So, um, and here again as well, you know, make sure I absorb that green essence because I'm not doing like you know high amount of points moves like UTs and instant kill bonuses followed by OTs. I'm just doing regular combos. So now I actually thought that killed him there, so I went to charge, but obviously he's not dead. And um, again, take advantage of when they're on the floor to just you know uh, fly and swallow them. I got really unlucky there. Um, the UT you know hit the reset suit, but it didn't actually carry on. So I've got to kind of get a UT going here. So take out one Garger, obviously just use the Azuna drop. You know, there's nothing wrong with just Azuna dropping Gargers. And then UT the reset suit. And uh, here, obviously, I know that I've got um, quite a bit of time to play with on my multiplier. And uh, always direct that final part of the combo towards the reset suit, because that's what's got the damage of the True Dragon Sword UT. And uh, you can either OT them to get the 15,000, or you can kill them regularly to try and get a health orb. If you're on low enough health, uh, reset suits do give pretty big health orbs if they, you know, if they're going to give you one, like they give you a lot of health back. So just finish off the uh, gargers, and then again with the pillbug wave, just um, again I'll try and fly and swallow through them to weaken them. But you know, use this for green essence and blue orbs. Um, you can use this um, wave for points if you want. You can use the um, bow UTs, but. I don't really like doing that because um, I, I really prefer, you know, getting as much time on my green essence clock as I can and getting as much health out of this as possible and setting up really well to deal with the dogs. Um, if you use the bow UTs, you know, you might get an extra 100,000, 150,000 points, but obviously you're not going to get any blue essence, you're not going to get any green essence, and um, you're not going to set up very well uh, for the following dog wave. So I really think the Windmill Shuriken is definitely the way to go for these waves. And this is also transitioning to format B, where in, instead of um, Pillbugs you get um, the Bone Scorpions. And because um, it's the same with them, except they've just got more health. You know, I really think the Windmill Shuriken is a better way of dealing with them. And again, just try and save one till last, and you know, stick him with an Incendiary Shuriken. I, I got lucky there. I thought I was going to mess that up there and kill him. So, and now the reason I did the Gleaming Blade was because you know. Um, when you get to the war, I mean, when you get to the um, ways past Acolyte, um, damaging all the nin all the dogs, it, it works on the lower wave, but um, when they've got a lot more health, you know, you really just kind of it's better to kill two or three at once rather than weaken the whole wave. You know, it, it's much better to kill them and you know try and get a UT chain going. And again, me changing weapons there was changing to the more shuriken. So if I you know if my UT chain gets broken in any way, I can just start spamming the flying swallow to on landing combos with the more shuriken. Now, um, this is one thing you definitely don't want to be in this wave. Never, if you can help it, obviously, never um, like get stuck near the pillar where I am now. Because um, the if they miss with an IS, it can knock you out of the air. You can get, you know, the, the dogs themselves have got a flying swallow attack. You know, they can hit you with that and like, pounce on you and get a grapple on you when you land. You know, so always try and fight them in the middle. So if you get knocked out of the air, you can just like follow it up with an on-landing. And that's also a really good tip. If you ever get knocked out of the air with an incendiary shuriken or anything like that, always on-landing, even if you have no essence, always do an on-landing gleaming blade or something like that. The gleaming blade is a lot better than just an on-landing. Why? Because the gleaming blade, you know, you're immune to stun. Like, you can still take damage, but like they can't get you in grapples or like, you know, do anything annoying like that. And uh, I got a bit better start than last time. My UT actually hit something. Um, obviously, I, I would have preferred it to hit the um, mech, but as I said, you know, make sure you try and direct the last hit against the most dangerous enemy, because it's, it's really got the—that's what's got the power of this UT in it. 
I know. I think that was bullshit. Uh, I, you know, dodged through that perfectly how I did every other time, and yet it hit me for some reason. Uh, generally speaking, never ever do what I just did. Never hold Y to absorb essence. Uh, you're asking to get killed. But um, in that aspect, you know, I, I knew I'd be able to get it. But, you know, as I said, generally speaking, never really try that unless you know it's not going to do you damage. I always love it when an Izuna drop um, splash damage, de you know, beheads a guy. I think that's really funny. But, um, yeah, for the mages, um, depending on how well you're doing for karma, I mean, uh, for your multiplier, obviously I'm doing crap because I've just lost mine. So I'm just going to try and instant kill them and get some green essence. So, because um, I don't know if... It's just me, but mages never really seem to give you green essence all that much. Even you, you know, you kind of have to get like a forty-plus combo for mages to give you green essence. Against the uh, ninja and dragon wave, and I get a better start this time. Again, my UT actually connects, and obviously you want to try and target it all on the dragon, and then just spam like a triple fly and swallow or something like that to take him out really fast. And um, with this wave as well, you can just chain UTs if you've got the multiplier. Obviously, I haven't, so I'm trying to build up a combo at the moment to get my uh, green essence back. And I get one there, but obviously I, I cancel my own combo with the wind path, which is a really stupid thing to do. I should have done a fly and swallow after that to keep it going. And again, as well, make sure you try and uh, utilize the Zuna Drop splash damage. Uh, it does really good damage. It does a lot more damage than I think people realize on like regular enemies um, it's, it's really good to get the damage on the red dragons with loads of Izuna drop uh, splash damage and then just you know either finish him with a quick QT or the triple fly and swallow is a really good move to just you know spam if you get in a tight spot now I've got my um, multiplier back I'm obviously going to try and shift a bit more to focus on getting points um, the higher the wave you get into, obviously the harder it gets to get points from it. Um, when you get to the Mentor and Master Ninja Waves, and especially the Master Ninja Wave, um, you don't really want to pay too much attention to your multiplier, you know, unless you can, unless you can definitely take the time to try and get Green Essence. Because you know, you'll know you die so easily, and it's much better to just kind of, you know, brawl your way through the later waves and, you know, try and focus more on getting points in the first two waves. You can get around you know, seven to eight million out of the first two waves, depending on how well you do. Whereas in the Master Ninja and Mentor waves, you know, you're, you're not going to get anywhere near that much, because obviously the enemies have got a lot more health, they do a lot more damage, so you have to really switch up how you take them down. Now, I really hate it when the guillotine throw doesn't connect like that. And that's a really good time to get a, uh, another green essence. And again, I mess up here and, and try a regular UT. You should, should really try Gleaming Blade UT for this one, because if nothing's there, you can just abuse the iframes. And um, for these, you really want to try and take out the mages again first, because their off-screen magic can really mess you up. And um, again, keep track of how many times your Izuna drop splash damage hits the zombies, because then you can just spam Flying Swallow to try and behead them, and then either OT them or just get an instant kill. Uh, another really good tip for this wave, um, if you get in a really, really tight spot and you haven't got a lot of health left but you've got a Windblades and Nimpo, you can just um, equip your Windmill Shuriken, uh, Incendiary Shuriken, sorry, equip them and just start jumping around spamming them and um, you, you'll probably like delim at least two or three zombies and then just jump in the middle and use your uh, Windmill uh, Windblades and Nimpo, sorry, to instantly kill them. Um, it won't kill them outright, um, a lot, like a lot of enemies, but um, like mechs, werewolves and zombies, if you delim them and then do the Windblades, it, it will instantly kill them and those kind of enemies give off really big health orbs so you can you only need to really get two of them to kind of get back to like a third health and that kind of thing and obviously mages um, up until about halfway through the mentor wave the um wind blades and impo is really useful for that and on the master ninja waves it's a godsend and you really want to kind of save it until it's your you know it's your last thing you can possibly do now again i'm uh, doing the wrong uts here um, these mages didn't do much magic from the look of it, so I should have been using the Windmill Shuriken UT when I had my multiplier, and that, that definitely cost me probably about 100,000 points.